Today, I am telling you about one of the biggest mods to come to Path of Titans and giving you the entire rundown of the complete dinosaur and other creature roster for this mod, as well as giving you previews of the dinosaurs and these creatures that are already modeled and maybe some of them that aren't as well but this is the kto mod or kto expansion mod for path of titans which is going to bring a lot and i'm going to be telling you everything that's going to be in it However, you probably already know about this mod, but do you know about the full extent of this mod's roster? Because it is a huge roster. This expands on the game's current roster, probably doubling it or more, which is absolutely crazy. This video will be split into different categories. The timestamps on the screen now are for herbivores, theropods, aquatics, and pterosaurs. This hopefully gives you enough time and will give me enough time to show you everything you need to know in this video, giving you the full rundown of this mod in hopefully a nice quick and concise video and getting you excited for it but if you do enjoy videos like this feel free to like the video and get this pushed out so more people see this mod and subscribe to the channel we're aiming for 6,000 subscribers so every little helps anyways feel free to join my discord server but let's get right into this brand new path of titans mod so let's kick this roster off with the herbivorous dinosaurs. Now there are a huge amount of herbivores to come in this mod that will be coming to Path of Titans. That varies between the likes of Marginocephali, uh, which includes Ceratopsids and Pachycephalosaurs, Phyreophora, which includes Ankylosaurs and Stegosaurs, to Ornithopoda and Sauropodomorpha. So let's start with it, with the dinosaurs that are in Marginocephali. There are four creatures here that are unique to KTO mods in this group and well let's just start with it firstly we have Prinocephale which is a Pachycephalosaurus this is going to be smaller than Pachycephalosaurus that is currently planned for the game Korea Ceratops is a small Ceratopsid I'm pretty sure this will be a semi-aquatic because its lifestyle is semi-aquatic Udano Ceratops is next, a very early Ceratopsid as well, but this is probably one of the bigger of the early Ceratopsids. And finally, we have a large Ceratopsian that will add to the already huge roster of Ceratopsians. This is Pachyrhinosaurus. Next up, we have Phyreophora, which includes some new dinosaurs like the tiny Scutellosaurus, the southern from Antarctica, Antarctopelta, Gigant Spinosaurus, the only Stegosaur in this mod, and finally Ankylosaurus, a must-have dinosaur for Path of Titans in my opinion. Next up we have Ornithopoda, which has five unique dinosaurs to it in KTO mods, adds a whole bunch of variety to the already existing Ornithopods that are in the game that are Camptosaurus, Barsboldia and Lambiosaurus and Iguanodon. So here we have Leanilosaurus, which would be the smallest dinosaur in the game, Feskelosaurus, which is also smaller than Camptosaurus, Parasololophus, which I think is an absolutely beautiful model, and they've got some amazing skins on it. Next up, we have Lurdosaurus, which is like Iguanodon, and finally, have the one that's going to put Barsboldia to shame, Shantungosaurus, the biggest Ornithopoda ever. And finally, we have Sauropodomorpha. Now, this is to make up for the fact that we only have one sauropod in the game, and that is Amargosaurus. Here we have six herbivores in this roster, and this starts off with Platyosaurus, which has two different sizes, a 10 meter long and a 5 meter one. Shunosaurus is next, with a rather unique uh, herbivore in my opinion. Lohuco Titan is next with the second biggest sauropod Chimerosaurus coming in next and finally the biggest herbivore to come to the game is Giraffe Titan coming in at 25 meters long. What do you think about the herbivore roster? Let me know in the comments down below. Now for the theropod dinosaurs in this mod pack, we technically have a wide range of dinosaurs here because, well, they're not all carnivores. We have the likes of pherozinosaurs, dino birds, and oviraptorids, but we do have a big roster nonetheless. So I'm going to try and go over this. Firstly, we're going to go over the dinosaurs that are smaller than one meter tall. Then we'll go over the ones that are in the mid-size category, and then we're going to go over the big ones that you all know and love and be excited for. Let's so let's get right into the small dinosaurs. We have Antionis, Hulsanpes, Shuvuia, Sinoceropteryx, Yanyan Hulong, 
Butyraptor, and finally Spectro Venator. Next up, we have those that are over a meter tall in the mid size category. We have Pelican and Mimus, Balor Bondek, Anzu, Dakota Raptor, Dilophosaurus, and Nanshangosaurus. Now I'm stopping here because the next category is going to be full of dinosaurs that you will be excited for. I'm sure you'll be excited for these dinosaurs because these are big, bad, and we have a little bit tiny, you know, Spinosaur in this list, which I'm excited to show you. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we have Valibona Venatrix, a newly described Spinosaur and will be the smallest Spinosaur in the game. U Tyrannus, which is a fluffy Tyrannosaur, Aeroceon, Sinraptor, Gigantoraptor, Delta Dromius, Torvosaurus. Acrocamphosaurus and Tyrannotitan. I'm hugely disappointed with the lack of Giganotosaurus, but oh well, this is an incredible roster for theropod dinosaurs in this mod. What is your favorite here? I'm really excited for Valid Bonavenatrix and Delta Dromius, if I'm honest. Now, when it comes to Path of Titans, there is quite a big roster for the aquatics, but, well, it's not a big one if we think about it. It's only four full-fledged aquatics that have come to the game. Now, that's good. That's a good roster. But when you compare it to this mod, this mod has three times the amount of aquatics in the game. Now, this includes semi-aquatics as well. And it includes some very unique creatures from fish to some crocodiles, turtles, and of course the aquatics that we all know and love, ichthyosaurs, mosasaurs, and elasmosaurs. Some of these, I'm not going to lie, I've never even heard of, but I'm very excited for this nonetheless. So, let's go into the two turtles in this mod. Myolania and Archelon are the turtles. We have two crocodiles, Simosuchus, which is a herbivorous crocodile, and Perusaurus. Next up, we have two big fish, Dunkleosteus and Rhizodus, which I've never heard of Rhizodus before, and it looks huge. Next up, we have Eretmorphis, Leptocletus, Norphosaurus, Pliosaurus, Phallosomedon. And finally, we have the first ever non-Mesozoic creature that would be coming to Path of Titans. This is Leviathan, which is an absolutely huge killer whale-esque whale. And it's going to be one hell of a creature in the game and will definitely be a terrifying beast in the oceans. This brings up to 12 new aquatics in the game. Three times more than what we already have in the game. Let me know which out of these you are very excited for. And yeah. And finally, we have the pterosaurs for this game. These are the creatures that obviously will be able to fly. However, these are not all of the creatures that will be able to fly because when we were talking about the pteropods, we mentioned some gliders there as well. However, we have three pterosaurs that are coming to the game and here we have quite a bit of pterosaurs. We have 10 new pterosaurs, which means we are uh, effectively tripling the amount of pterosaurs overall, which I find really interesting. So, let's just go over and talk about the pterosaurs really quickly in this mod. We have Anaurognathus, Pterodostro, Salotriventus, Hongshanoterus, Zungariterus, Ludodactylus, Pteranodon, Tropiognathus, and finally Aramburagania, which is uh, a name that I've messed up all of those names, and I do apologize. There'll be someone out there, there'll be a paleontologist out there who has taken huge offense to that, because I've just messed up about every name in this video, and I'm very sorry, everybody, for the triggering that my accent and my lack of learning has caused. But that is 10 pterosaurs, and that marks the end of the roster. Let me know what you think about this roster. It's definitely an interesting one, and it's my favorite roster out of any mods and if you do have any mods feel free to let me know if you want me to cover them of course I, that marks the end of this video here i do hope you enjoyed it what do you guys think about kto mods the biggest dinosaur mod to come to path of titans if you do have any other mods you want me to cover in this game feel free to let me know in the comments down below because it's going to be interesting and i really want to bring some of these mods to the spotlight anyways guys i do hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one have a great day. Peace.